offense, and are they willing then to not only commit and stay with the run, but then while they're doing that, catch the defense off guard and take the deep shot? Because over the last four weeks, that's been the Achilles heel of this defense. Been brutal. They get them to the line. They they'll they'll dummy check or check, and they'll get the defense communicating, and then they snap the ball where they're trying to move around or they're communicating, and just gash them. It's not just been the run defense like in the beginning. They have been continuously over the last four weeks given up five, six, eight big 20, 30, 40 yard plays down the field in those types of scenarios. So are these guys capable of the quarterback and coach capable of putting a game plan together and executing it? Do you feel to take advantage of that? Cause I don't know if it's going to get fixed because if it was going to get fixed for God's sakes, you thought it would have got fixed when they had two weeks off. No, um, this is the Packers get right game. Just like the giants have been the get right game for everybody. So you guys lost last week. So look, Pat Shermer's offense is the most vanilla boring offense. You'll see, you'll see a, a very talented running back running up the middle about 16 to 17 times. Um, Daniel Jones will be throwing out of the shotgun, hardly doing any play action. There is nothing, uh, they will do to surprise the Packers. I'm just, look, I'm, I'm not trying to be doom and gloom, but I've just seen it all year long. I, I don't think they do anything to take advantage of. If, if if something's working, they'll get away from it. If the Packers are beating them at anything, they won't adjust till halftime. Um, we usually spot teams 14 nothing leads. Uh, so I, I don't see it. I, I really don't, especially this week. I think MetLife will be filled with 30% Packer fans, and I think the Giants will fall behind early, and uh, it's going to get loud for the uh, – <laughs> For the visiting team, I just I don't see it happening, guys. Hmm. Yep, Packers travel. Packers path. <laughs> Packers fans travel well. They always do. I mean, San Fran, even when they got punched in the mouth last week, they were still forty percent of them in the stands, and that's one thing that sadly is true. It's one of the bigger fan bases, and they travel well. They're they're loyal, and but you know what? I got to bring up something you mentioned earlier: Evan Ingram and the injury problems. I just popped in my head. He reminds me of Jermichael Finley. Yeah, I mean, I'm, my biggest fear with Ingram is we trade him and he turns into Kelsey uh, or, or Zach Ertz or something better. Because <laughs> yeah. I know that will happen, right? Like, look, the Giants have let go of guys like Eli Apple, Eric Flowers, Damon Harrison. Now, no, they're not lighting the league on fire, but they're functioning. I mean, they couldn't even they're function with the Giants. Yeah. Right. I mean, Marshall Newhouse is the starting right tackle for the New England Patriots. He was horrific with the Giants. So oh, horrific no, no, for no, us too. No, no. he was he's just a bad tackle backers. that I still don't understand why anybody signs and plays. Because when you turn on the tape, That's right. everywhere That's right. he, he goes, he's still going, Hey, look out about eighty five percent of the time. It like I mean, they the Patriots played him for three weeks at left tackle. They got sick of that. And so then they tried to put him at right tackle. And now I don't even feel like he's gonna suit up this week. And then they'll release him and some other team will put like Newhouse is continually one of these linemen that can't block that keeps getting paid by a different team, hoping that he's good. I, I just I don't understand it, man. Patriots paid him quite a bit of money too, from yes. what I understand. The Packers yeah. paid him to stay around for four seasons, for God's sakes. So yeah, my but, my biggest fear is Ingram goes somewhere else and just becomes an absolute stud and comp- and, and learns how to be healthy. Uh, yeah, we. I seen mean, that sometimes it. Yeah, but a different change of scenery sometimes is needed. I hate to say it because if you go look, Casey Hayward and Micah Hyde for the Packers, both left. Casey Hayward's the second highest rated corner in PFF right now, and Hyde's a top five safety. I mean, those are guys that we drool over because it could what could have been. You know, we wouldn't have had to draft Daniel Savage if we had Micah Hyde. Um <sighs> But uh, Casey Hayward as well. We wouldn't have had to take in Kevin King. We could have just taken Jerry Alexander. So I mean, yeah. it's just that that's the hindsight twenty twenty. But still, it's just looks back and you're like, why weren't they good for us? Why weren't they healthy for us? But I am going to end it with this. I got to ask, what's your final score, bud? What's your prediction? And who wins the game MVP? <laughs> Forty one. 17 only because it's a late touchdown Ooh. uh aaron Rodgers throws for four touchdowns aaron Rodgers will be the end of it.
Yeah, yeah. Uh, he can just throw, but guys, we can't cover running back, so he can throw a, a three yard screen pass that goes for sixty. So you know, it, it doesn't matter. Uh, he, it, it's just going to be an. Uh, I think it's just going to be an ugly, ugly game tomorrow. I think this is the the Packers get right game, like I said. Well, I mean, we're not looking to treat the Giants like a lower opponent either because that's what's called a trap game, and that we still take it seriously. Jones has still has the ability to come back and win games. We I watched it in Tampa Bay game, his first ever game, and he came out, and yeah, Tampa Bay missed a kick, but you know what? He still put him in position to win. So Yeah, and I think that was the last time I think that was the last like time that. we saw I think that was the last time we saw the RPO being used. So I think Shermer went back to the <laughs> wow, really? Shermer, Shermer Shermer went back to the Eli Manning uh, offense as, after the Tampa Bay game, and it's just shotgun, shotgun, shotgun throw. It's just it's insane. He doesn't use so, mo- he doesn't use Jones' mobility at all. So is he trying to get fired? Is that what you're assuming? I, who knows? He, the, and the way he treats the media, he doesn't even talk to him. It's just he's sick of I everybody. Know, like, <laughs> so goodbye. So all right. Well, you know what? We appreciate you, Jerry coming on. You have been wonderful and a very, very good couple laughs throughout this. Um, and your knowledge of the game is very huge, substantial. We love it. And we, we'd love to have you on again in the future, too, because we have some plans for trying to get a rep for every team. And you fit great with it. And we like to call you first and goal family. Absolutely. Thanks, guys. And, and by the way, you, you had no idea I was going to throw Don Hudson at you either. Oh, no, surprise us there? I'll give you that. <laughs> you don't hear stuff. a lot of people talking about Don Hudson in this day and age. Not even people, Packers most fans. Most people don't even know who the hell Don Hudson is in their Packers fans. <laughs> yes. They're like, isn't that the center where they practice at across from Langbo Field? It's like, yeah, that was a guy that played for him. That's why they call it that. Like, God. One of the legends nice. back then. But yeah. uh, you know what, Jerry? Go ahead and give a shout out where they can find you at again on Twitter and what you do real quick. So then that way they can follow you if any late listeners jumped on. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, Twitter account is at Giant Insider and the website is www.thegiantinsider.com. We are still a newspaper uh, and the subscriptions have been up since Chris and I have taken over. So good stuff, buddy. Awesome. We loved having you on. You know what? We're looking forward to the matchup. I'm not looking at a... Uh, a big rollover. I'm going to go ahead and ask Jay, what's his prediction real quick for the game? Cause I accidentally skipped over us real quick. Uh, I just, I think it's actually not going to be as high scoring as everybody thinks because of the weather. I, I think I'm going to say 27, 17. Cause mm-hmm. I, I think it, I think they'll run the ball a lot with the weather. And I think the trying to control the clock. Make, yeah. But I think they'll did. make a little bit of a late come, you know, a little late push at it and it'll make it better. More of a game. I think it'll be kind of sloppy on both ends. I think the Packers fans are going to walk away from this one, Jerry, bitching and moaning. Like, this was supposed to be our get right game. We were supposed to win 41 to nothing. Da, da, da. And look at what happened. And, then, and and it'll just be like, yeah, okay. You know, kind of thing. So. <laughs> yeah, uh, I'm going to pick the Packers as well on this, but it's going to be 28-16. Um, I just think that. The touchdowns are going to be there for the Packers. I feel the Giants are going to be able to move the ball, but they're going to put up field goals. I feel like they're going to put up field goals instead of putting up the touchdowns, and it's just the spread's going to grow a little bit. And my MVP is going to be Aaron Jones. I think he gets right this game, gets a rushing and receiving touchdown. Well, you you guys are more optimistic for the Giants than I am, so good stuff. I'm glad to hear it. We respect well, our rivals, man, no matter who we it's, tweet. It's, it's not even that, Jerry. I'm going to be honest with you. These guys, these, the, the Packers, I, I want to ask you this. What yeah. is your view on on the two teams here or, or your view of the differences that you see in their eight wins versus their three losses as an outside guy that obviously has, like, actual football knowledge? I mean, the the Giants roster is so devoid of talent, but it's just it's it, a lot of it's coaching, guys. I, I I think I think your team was kind of reborn with a new coach. Uh, I think you needed to get rid of McCarthy. Uh, it just got stale. Um, I I just think uh, Lafleur is a better coach than Sher- Shermer's out coached every week. And when you com- combine that with with a team with a better roster like the Packers have overall. It's just a nightmare scenario for the Giants. And the fact that you lost last week makes me feel like this is going to be your game where you just take it out on the Giants. And they are two and nine. Um, we don't know what's in store. 
Shermer's starting to, to, I don't know, he hasn't lost the locker room yet, but there have been some weird decisions being made over the last few days. Like there was a Zach Diossi is the long snapper, been yes, it forever. Yeah. They, they didn't announce to McGahee, who's the offense, who's the special teams coach, that he was being IR'd. So when they asked McGahee, how about Zach Diossi being IR'd? He said, no, he's not. They said, oh, yeah, he is. He goes, well, then ask the head coach. So when you hear really? stuff like that, yeah, it's just it's a it's a crap show right oh, wow. now. So uh, it's 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 getting ugly. It's getting very ugly. And then we have what we have a million. We have uh, uh, Tate, Ingram and Ellison out. I mean, come on. This is going to be ugly. So, yeah, I saw Peppers out as well. Peppers out too, yeah, and and yeah, that's another he got, thing. He, he got marked yesterday. He said, he said Peppers may be able to play through the pain. It's an injury in his vertebrae. There's no way he's playing through the Sit pain. Sit him, IR, right. right. Just, God, wait for next year. So when you when you ask me what's the difference, it's just we're becoming dysfunctional now. So, well, again, thank you, Jerry. We appreciate all your knowledge and insight on not just the Giants in football. And we appreciate the Dallas hate on the love with that with us. Absolutely, guys. And uh, any, <laughs> you know, if you want to have me again on again, uh, let me know. Thanks for of having course. me. Of course. Well, hey, All right. well, have a good one, considering that, then I'm going to say this because we do a post game show. So if you're not yes. doing anything after okay. the game and you would like to come on, you are more than welcome to jump on and join us for however long you want. I have some writing to do after the game, but probably um, six Eastern, I'll be able to jump on if you want. Okay. Well, All right, sounds, sounds good. good, Jerry. Cool. All right, we're All right, going to take a break, and we want to say thank you to Jerry. We will be right back, folks. And if you haven't had enough of our banter tonight, you want to visit NFL Addictions on Facebook.com for all of your NFL banter and chatter. It's not a trash talk site, so keep it clean and keep it cordial. That's NFL Addictions on Facebook.com. And if you still got an itch to scratch when you're done with that, you want to visit Raz Addictions on Facebook.com for their version of the raffle for all kinds of cool prizes, even a chance at winning some cash. You buy a $10 raffle ticket for a chance at winning $100. That's a chance at making 10 times your money. It don't get any better than that. That's Raz Addictions on Facebook.com for a chance at all kinds of cool prizes. Tell them what you've won, Dave. I've won everything from tailgating barbecue sets that I have a Packers one that I won, folks, for $400. I put $40 down on the spot. I won it, and it was out of 20 spots. It's really worth it. I've also won helmets that are signed. I've won banners that are signed. I've won memorabilia rings. I've won footballs that are signed and other Packers knickknacks because that's my team. But go ahead and check them out. Cheap, affordable prices for certified, authentic stuff. That's Raz Addictions on Facebook.com. Go there, play, and win. And as always, you can follow us on Twitter at First and Goal Pod, myself at UPJ33, Dave is at Steak and Cheese, and the Fantasy Wonder himself, Dylan, at DylanBusby1. Email us at First and Goal Podcast at Yahoo.com with all your football and Packer questions and comments, and you just might find yourself making the show live. That's First and Goal Podcast at Yahoo.com. All right, men, it's November. Grow your facial hair out to bring awareness to prostate cancer. It affects just as many men as breast cancer affects the women. We need to bring awareness. So grow out your facial hair. And if you already have facial hair, shape and shave it in a different way. Have some fun with it. So everybody knows if you're 35 or older, it's time to have your prostate checked. Again, it's November, Prostate Cancer Awareness Month. So men, grow out that facial hair, shape and shave it in a different, unique way to bring awareness. It's an important thing. We all need to have it done. So get on board and have some fun with it. All right, we are back, and we are going to give our final thoughts for the evening on everything that we talked about and uh, a few little tidbits to get in there since, you know, we got down a few rabbit holes and then get you guys out of here at a decent time tonight. So what you think, Dave? My thoughts are Jerry Foley is a beautiful mind badass. 
that guy has a lot of views like we do. Not exactly, but he offers that different objective and 